Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to clone computers across the network using Norton Ghost 15. Our goal is to run Norton Ghost on the original computer to create a mirrored image of the hard drive and place it on a shared folder in the server, then run Norton Ghost on all other computers creating a clone out of the original computer from that image file on the server. I'm using this Windows 7 as my server. You can use any network computer as a server as long as they can have access to the shared folder in the network. I'm going to go ahead and create this clones folder, share it with the uh, proper permissions. In this case, I'm going to select everyone to have full control. In a real environment, the uh, permissions is completely different. But just for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and set everyone with full control. Perfect. Now I have created my shared folder. Now all I need to do is test it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to test it on the uh, computer that is going to be cloned. I'm going to go ahead and type the address of the folder. See if I can have access. Yes, I do. See if I can copy and delete something to that folder. Yeah. Yes, I can. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and right click Computer, Manage, Disk Management, because I like to see the partitions before I clone them. Sometimes you have like recovery partitions, which sometimes is not even worth cloning. Perfect. I only have two system reserve and drive C. Those are the two I'm going to be cloning. So from the original computer, I'm going to insert my Norton Ghost 15 and send a mirrored image of the hard drive to the server, like you see here. Now place the Norton Ghost onto the original computer disk drive and restart the computer. Make sure you change the uh, boot sequence in the BIOS to boot from the uh, Norton Ghost. When you see this, press enter. Accept the license terms and agreement. Click on network tab. I stop my networking services. If no errors comes up, perfect. If you're not sure, if you got an IP, just run the IP config utility and there you will find out. Click on home, back up my computer, click next to the wizard, type the license key provided by Norton when you purchase the software, next, and now select the drive you wish to clone. Remember, if you would have had a recovery, you would select the recovery. I don't. I'm going to select the system reserve and local disk C, next, and then map network drive. Type the directory of the shared folder, and then the username and password for the administrator. OK. Successfully mapped. OK. Now click Browse, and then select the map drive, which is the folder, and click OK. Next. And here you can select your compression type. I'm going to leave it standard, which is recommended. You can verify recovery point after creation if you like, that's optional. Advanced settings for more options here. I'm going to leave everything default and click on OK. Next. Next to finish the wizard. And I'll start creating the image to the network folder. It lasted 18 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and close it and exit. Yes. Now we have created the mirrored image of the original computer's hard drive and we have placed it onto the server. Now we need to run Norton on the other computers and create a clone out of that image file. Since I don't have uh, multiple computers in my network, I, I'm using Virtual Machine to simulate both the original computer and the cloned computer. Remember, this is not how to clone a virtual machine uh, operating system. 
gonna go ahead and add the disc as if I was adding the uh, Norton Ghost 15 onto the disk drive of the clones. Go to my network here, bridge it so I can have access to the network. If you notice here now, both computers are exactly the same. The only difference is the computer name. Gonna go ahead and boot the uh, clone computer. It'll automatically start using Norton because it doesn't have any operating system inside. Access, accept the license terms and agreement network start my networking services just like we did previously home and now recover my computer instead of backup my computer click next ok the same map a network drive the uh, folder directory where we place the image file ok and now the username and password of the administrator successfully mapped now browse for that uh, map folder perfect here it is I'd like to start off with the uh, system reserve so I'm just gonna double click the system reserve first next and now add the uh, drive C perfect click on OK now both of our partitions is there. I'm going to remove the check mark verify recovery point before recovery. Next, reboot when finished and click yes to start the recovery. Now it's from the folder to the hard drive. This, this will take a little while. I actually fast forward it. It's restarting by itself and once it finishes you have your operating system exactly the same way you had it when you created the clone image file onto the server. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them on the comment section below. Remember, I use virtual machines because I can't afford two computers to create this video tutorial, but it works perfectly the same way on a real environment. Thank you for watching.